Hello everyone, this is Ashley Tucker. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm creating a card using the July 2019 card kit from Simon Says Stamp. One of my favorite things that's in this kit is actually this patterned paper from Honeybee Stamps. I think it's so gorgeous and I've actually had my eye on it for quite a while ever since it was released. So when I saw that it was in this kit, I was really stoked. I took the stamp set that comes in the kit and I took out all of the honeycomb shaped stamps and I put them in my Misty tool and I'm going to stamp them on a piece of that patterned paper which I cut down to be four and a quarter by five and a half. I prepped my background with a powder bag from Inka Dinka Doo, and this is actually the very first time that I'm using that powder bag. My old powder tool broke on me, so I needed a new powder tool, and I thought that I would give the powder bag a try, and I think it's a really great little tool. The embossing powder that I'm using here is the rose gold embossing powder from Simon Says Stamp, which is a really beautiful color, and I really like the way that it looks on this patterned paper background. I picked out the dotted line heart stamp from the stamp set, which is actually designed to look like a little bee trail with a bee on the end of the heart. And I stamped that onto some vellum, which I prepped with that powder tool. And then I embossed that with the same rose gold embossing powder. Continuing on with even more embossing, I have a piece of Gina K Designs in the navy cardstock in my Misty. And I'm embossing a sentiment onto that with alabaster white embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. And because I went over this paper with my embossing bag, it does look a little bit dull at first. But once I finish with the embossing, I just wipe it off with a dry cloth and that brightens it back up. So I cut that sentiment down into a strip and I put some foam tape on the back. And as you can see, I also fussy cut out that vellum heart. I very carefully adhered that sentiment strip onto my vellum heart, and then I added some liquid adhesive to the back of the heart, hiding it behind that sentiment strip, as well as some of the embossed areas. I then glued that entire piece onto my background, which I cut down to be three and three quarters by five. Using my ATG gun, I added some adhesive to a piece of vellum, which is cut to be four by five and a quarter. And then I very carefully put my background onto that piece of vellum so that I have a very small vellum border going around the edge. Next, I popped up that entire panel onto an A2 size card base with some foam tape. I wanted to add some sparkle and some interest to this card, so I took out my glossy accents and I added some dabs of that to some of the honeycombs in the background very randomly. I then took my unicorn dust glitter from Simon Says Stamp and I poured that over the top of the card and it's gonna stick to that glossy accents. And I really love that sparkle, but you know I had to add even more. So I took out my Wink of Stella and I went over the entire sentiment strip and that makes it nice and sparkly. I took out some tiny heart stickers from Doodle Bugs and I picked out one of the white ones from that set. And you'll see that it took me a crazy ridiculous time to get it placed properly on this sentiment, but eventually I do get it. The last thing that I did to finish up this card is I took out a few of these moonshine sequins from Simon Says Stamp and I glued them down using my Gina K Designs Connect glue. And here you can see a close up of that finished card. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you really enjoyed this card design using the 2019 July card kit from Simon Says Stamp. I do have links below for all of the supplies that I used in today's video. And remember that anytime that you click on one of those links, you are helping to support this channel at no extra cost to you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you can see more of my future videos. I come out with new videos every single week and I'm going to be back with another one really soon. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you and I hope you have a good day today.